Hello, myself, Dr. Manjit Patil, consultant, plastic and cosmetic surgeon, working at Astra RV Hospital, JP Nagar. Today, I'll be discussing about a very commonly done cosmetic surgery procedure called liposuction. So, what exactly is a liposuction? It is a surgical way of removing the excess fat. So, who are the ideal candidates for this procedure? So, someone who is overweight but well within the 20% of their ideal body weight the one who has good good elasticity of the skin someone who has got a good muscle tone in these are the cases the liposuction works really well this is a myth that most of the patients have they come uh, looking for the liposuction thinking that that is likely to reduce their weights but the answer is no this is not a weight reduction surgery it is a body recontouring procedure See, someone who is on a diet and a regular exercise but still they have got a certain areas where they are finding it difficult to get rid of that fat. We call it a stubborn fat, resistance to all kind of exercise and diet, say around the trunk or so, at very specific areas. They are the most suitable candidates for this liposuction to address only a particular areas. It is not a weight reduction surgery. So when you see a plastic surgeon, so uh, you have to discuss how the procedure is done, what liposuction it is, so what to, what are the risk, complication, recovery time, everything will be discussed in that. So are there any types of liposuction? Yes, there are uh, different type of liposuction based on the problem what the patient has. We do a something called as a tumescent lipo liposuction. Is this is done only for the limited areas wherein we use a, a mixture of normal saline or linger lactate with the local anesthesia and with the uh, epinephrine so that uh, small areas can be addressed. The next commonly done liposuction method is uh, power assisted liposuction which we call it as a PAL. So here what happens is we have a machine wherein the machine will move to and fro and it will loosen the fat cells and that fat will be sucked out. And the third type is what we call it wherein uh, Vaser liposuction wherein we use the ultrasound energy to loosen the fat cells. They uh, separate the fat cells that can be sucked out and that is how the fat is removed from your body. It is one of the commonest plastic or cosmetic surgery procedure done all across the globe. If you follow all the precautions, if you follow all the standard guidelines, the procedure is pretty safe. So uh, most of the patients uh, do well with this liposuction and if the right method is followed, definitely it is a safe procedure. So you'll have a consultation with your doctor, understand all the uh, procedure, method, different types, recovery and uh, then get the pre-anesthetic checkup done with the anesthesiologist, get a few lab tests and then go ahead with the surgery. So how exactly the surgery is done? Generally it is done by, the, say suppose if you have a, 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 want a liposuction of your abdomen only. So small cuts will be made. The cuts will be in the size of 3 or 4 millimeter through which will pass the cannula and if you are uh, using a pulse, say for example power assisted liposuction the machine will move to and fro it will loosen up all the fat cells and the machine will suck out all the uh, fat the deeper fat cells are removed and will uh, get the proper shape what you want it answer is yes most of the humans are born with a certain number of fat cells especially when they reach the adulthood the number of fat cells remains the same throughout your life the only thing what changes is the volume of those fat cells that is how you gain that obesity or lose that so what happens is once if you suck out or take out the particular number of fat cells they are removed permanently but in case if patient doesn't follow a proper diet and exercise so again there are chances that he may gain uh, the uh, ear or uh, he may uh, have the fat cells increase in the size so again he'll start appearing obese so in spite of this surgery uh, it is very much recommended to have a proper diet and exercise even after the surgery to get in 
to maintain the shape what you have achieved uh, you may have to stay in a hospital uh, for a uh, it can be done even if a smaller area we can do it as a day care procedure same evening you can go back or maybe uh, one day or so you will have certain uh, tubes to take out if uh, there is any collections there will be a uh, small bandages around which you can move around no issues so you will have a uh, bruising swelling in the uh, liposuction areas but most of it will subside temporary you may have a numbness on the uh, skin where we do a liposuction even that will subside you may have to wear a uh, certain pressure garments to uh, get the proper shape and also to prevent the seromas that will you may have to wear those pressure garments for nearly 4 to 6 weeks and you can start most of your uh, routine workout Uh, by four or four weeks or six weeks, and you can start all your routine works by four or fifth day.